Welcome to This Week in Gato, where we take a look at the interesting, the awesome, and the weird things being developed this week in the Gato engine. And let me know in the comments which project featured this week is your favorite. Let the countdown begin. Number eight. Dash, jump, and roll in this cat platformer from Breather Games. Synesthesia features dynamic music, blended 3D and 2D visuals, and lots of platformer action. The controls feel very responsive, and there's already a great variety of ways to move around the environment. You can check out Synesthesia for free right now on Itch.io. Number seven. Get ready for some sport game nostalgia with Tiny Football. Brought to you by Microprose. Yeah, that Microprose. You know they're gonna get that classic gaming feel just right. Tiny Football is a classic top-down football game that focuses heavily on gameplay and showcasing strategy on the pitch. Pass, shoot, tackles, crossers, free kicks. It's all here along with 64 national and club teams, custom cup and league modes, and knockout tournaments. Number six. In Mess Quest, you arrive at the aftermath of numerous wacky scenarios to clean, mop, and put things back together. Clean up the mess, earn some cash, and upgrade your janitorial arsenal. With six messy levels and some great 2D top-down graphics, Mess Quest looks like a fun way to procrastinate on the housework and focus on some real messes. How did everything get so messy? In Mess Quest, you don't get paid to ask questions, you get paid to clean. Number five. Looking to add some dialogue into your Gato project? Check out Nathan Hode's Dialogue Manager add-on. Use multiple dialogue files, implement randomized lines, points for the Captain Picard reference, by the way, and add weight to different lines. And it's free. Head over to Nathan's GitHub to grab a copy and start a conversation in your game. Number four. I love deck building games. And Tendril from Brute Force has combined deck building with tactics in this roguelike game. Deliver positional attacks and use terrain to your advantage. Class-specific cards and powerful relics allow players to customize their approach. The visual style looks amazing and the card art matches the feel very well. Tendril is coming soon and is looking for playtesters right now. Number three. Gato recently released another snapshot of the Gato 4 beta. This release features less new features and more stabilization and bug fixes, but still offers some new things for game devs to try in Gato 4. You can check out the changes in the description link, and the beta is available to download and try right now. Number 2. This solo dev action shooter roguelike dungeon crawler uses 3D environments, but in 2D. Using an orthogonal camera setup, Sky Cliffs can utilize 3D mechanics in a seemingly 2D world. Players can jump and dash across large islands in the sky, fight monsters, and earn upgrades to test how long they can survive. With 35 enemies and over 80 items to collect, Sky Cliffs offers a fast-paced, top-down platform experience. Number 1 our final entry this week is a roguelike where players must overcome a horde of chess enemies in order to survive. Chess Survivors promises quick, fast-thinking gameplay as players must outmaneuver enemies and combine abilities, upgrades, and relics to create a game-breaking build. Die, learn, and repeat until you become a chess grandmaster. For more cool projects being done in Gato, be sure to check out this video here. And I'll be back next week with another This Week in Gato.